Hello, this is Paul Wilson Jr. with some more insights, inspiration, and imagination for your elevation. Well, we finally made it. We're here, 2011. Happy New Year, but I also want to say Happy New You. At least I'm hoping that I can say that. You know, a lot of people think that just because the calendar year changes or that their whole life is going to change over automatically or they start these resolutions and think by their, their skill, or their power, or their will um, that they can just make things happen and make themselves different or even make their lives different. Well, you know, unfortunately, that's not the case. You know, I said this in a few videos back that, you know, 60%, 70% of people, they will have failed the resolutions by Valentine's Day. You know what I mean? So is it a waste of time to create resolutions? I would say no, but it is a waste of time to create resolutions and to try to bring about transformation in your life without the one who can truly bring life change, and that is Jesus Christ. You know, the Bible says, it's not by power nor by might, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. And I believe when it comes to being transformed from the inside out, having a brand new life, it can only happen by God's spirit. Again, we have skill and power and will and all these things to try to do things. And, and I believe we can make certain levels of progress. But in terms of reaching the full potential that God has for our lives, he's the only one that can get us there. And so yes, you can try on your own to do what you can to get as far as you can. And eventually you will run into futility and frustration. However, if you want a life that is truly lived at a level beyond even your own imagination, God is the only one that can get you there. But that begins with being transformed in our minds. And that first transformation starts with thinking that, God, I can't do it, but I know that you can. Get me to the place where you have already planned, ordained, and prepared for me to be. So don't let 2010 be another year where it's just your effort on your own thinking that you can get to that next place by yourself. No, it's time to really be changed and transformed and do something new and different. And for many of you, that new and different is allowing God to have total control of your life to get to that next place. Okay. Well, one of the reasons I, I chose this backdrop is because it, it's raining here um, in Atlanta, which is one of the first times I can remember it actually raining on New Year's Day. But I think it is very appropriate because to me one of the things that rain represents is refreshing and renewal. So I think definitely this day is an opportunity for a fresh start for you. No matter what happened last year, uh, today is a day for a fresh start to move forward again with a new life, with a new purpose, with a new focus if your eyes are on the right person. And that's not on you, that's on Jesus Christ. The time. Let January 1st, 2011 be even the decision point where you said, God, take co total control of my life because it's not by my power, my skill, or my will, but it's by your spirit that I do something spectacular and amazing with my life, okay? All right, so I'm gonna be having a lot more in this area talking about these topics of really, how do you live a Christ-centered, purpose-driven life? And again, I, I look forward to having this journey with you this year because I'm on this journey myself, getting to that next place where God has for me. So I definitely don't want to get there by myself. I want to take you with me. Okay? So that's it for right now. Um, again, I appreciate you. I love you. And again, I want the best for you. So until the next time, do all you can with all you have, with the time that you have, so that you can thrive on purpose in 2011. God bless. Goodbye.